Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial video. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a custom emulator to LaunchBox and BigBox. Now, when setting up your emulators, we have this little drop-down list, and there's a lot of great stuff here. I mean, most of the stuff you want to emulate, we do have something ready for you to go here. But when it comes to different emulators that are out in the wild right now, this list is kind of short. So I'm going to show you how to add a different emulator that's not listed in our drop-down. And uh, to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my favorite PS1 emulators, Duck Station. Now this video isn't about setting up this specific emulator, it's more about just getting a custom emulator ready to go with LaunchBox and BigBox, and this will work with basically any standalone emulator that's available, but there will be settings and parameters you might need to change with certain emulators. And just for reference, I'm going to leave a link to this post in the description by bman83. This is a useful list of command line parameters. This is kind of basic command line parameters that should work. And one of the main ones you might want to use with a lot of different emulators is full screen. And uh, I'll show you how to put this in as soon as we get into setting up our custom emulator. To do this, it's pretty simple. Now, first thing you're going to need is the emulator you want to add. Like I mentioned, I'm using Duck Station. I just have it right on my desktop here. And uh, I definitely want to know that I have the application path ready to go. This is what you would click on inside of Windows to start said emulator. Personally, I like to keep LaunchBox portable, so I place all of my emulators inside of my LaunchBox folder in another folder called Emulators. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this, place it right in here, just so everything stays portable with my setup. Now this is actually pretty simple to do. From the drop-down, we're going to go to Tools, Manage Emulators, and if we choose Add, we're back at our Add Emulator section with this drop-down. Like I said, we do have a lot of great stuff in here, but when it comes to emulators that are on the market right now, this list is a bit short. And we want to add that Duck Station emulator. So for the name, I'm just going to name it as is, Duck Station. Emulator Application Path. This is that launchable EXE that I was talking about, and I've placed my emulator inside of my emulators folder. Duck Station. And with Duck Station, we actually have two different choices. Now, it's really up to you. Personally, I like to go with no GUI, so I'm just going to choose this one. I could always choose the second one if I'd like to, but this will be a bit different from other emulators. So, no GUI. Now, when it comes to the default command line parameter, different emulators will use different default command lines. And that's why I mentioned this post here. It just gives us some basic commands and it gives us an idea of what this does. So, for Duck Station, I want to go full screen once it's launched. So uh, I can actually just go over here, copy it, paste it right in here to my default command line parameter. That way, once I start the game up, it's going to go full screen on me. Next up, our associated platforms. Duck Station is a PlayStation 1 emulator, so that's what we're going to be emulating with it. And from here, I'm just going to type in Sony PlayStation. Give us a little drop down here. I want this to be my Sony PlayStation default emulator, so I'll leave it checked. We also have some extra features like startup screens, pause screens. You can actually go through here and everything's pretty much self-explanatory. gives us a little idea of what it does. But just to basically get the emulator set up, this is a Sony PS1 emulator. It's going to be my default emulator. From my details, duck station, my application path, and I want it to go full screen. So I'm going to choose OK, and I can go ahead and close my Manage Emulator screen down. So now, when I head over to my Sony PlayStation section, my games will now launch with said emulator that we just set up. Now, a lot of people will be running this with RetroArch, and that's totally fine. This is just one that I personally use, and I figured I could go ahead and use it for this tutorial. But it's going to start up just like it would with any other emulator. And there we have it. I'm now using Duck Station for my PlayStation 1 games. This was an emulator that wasn't listed in our drop-down list, but it's really easy to customize this and add whatever emulator you want to run your systems with. So yeah, we've tried to make it really easy to add custom emulators in the launch box and big box. If it's not listed in that drop-down, you can still add it. Just remember, you might need to refer to some of those custom command line parameters, and I will link that post in the description. It just makes it really easy to have a list like that. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. We really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.